What's poppin' gang? Today I'm gonna to be showing you five tips for mixing vocals. Whether you're just now getting into mixing or you just need a couple tips to help you get better at mixing vocals, this video is for you. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click that bell if you wanna be notified about more videos like this. So let's go ahead and get started. First, what had to be filters. The first plugin I would suggest you use, the Air Flaringer. I really don't actually use the presets on here, but uh, I just turned the mix down like 7%. Uh, for hooks, maybe just a little bit more. Also, this plugin sounds good if you wanna just separate things from like the verse and the hook or the chorus or whatever you wanna call it. So let's hear it real quick. See, that's another effect that you can add just on the vocals, like on the hook, you know what I'm saying? Just to like separate it from the verse. Another filter that you can add, say like you wanna separate the fact that you're going in from the verse into the hook and stuff like that, and you wanna use different plugins to tell the listener that this is a different part of the song. Here's a plugin I will add on the hook and the vocals, but mainly so on the hook, I will add it and actually turn it up a little bit more, and you get this pretty cool effect that I think sounds nice. Let's hear it real quick. I'm gonna turn the effect off and then turn it back on so you can hear the difference just turn it down you know what i mean i don't recommend using it too loud you know what i mean like especially in the mix i don't really recommend just like turning the mix up on this effect but like just 15 percent is a good amount that you can add just like on the hook and then you know when you get to the verse i will actually use this plugin but like turn it down you know what i mean maybe like five percent you know what i mean just to make it stand out a little bit more have some nice effect on it you can mess around with the presets and stuff like that i don't really use those but um i just mess with the mix knob and that's it highly suggest you guys check out that one uh, that's another filter that you can try out if you're getting help so far go ahead and hit the like button it helps with the channel if you want to download the pro tools template that i'm using there's a link in the description next let's move on to another effect to kind of help your vocals sound a little bit more solid i would definitely more so like use this plugin on the chorus or the hook whichever you want to call it and here it goes right here i will use the doubler 2 and uh, they have a really cool preset in here called the dark vader now this plugin is really good um, for if you wanna like make your vocals sound a little bit more solid, if you turn up just like a little bit, but if the artist is saying the same thing over and over, you can add this plugin to the last word that they say to make it sound a little bit cooler. I actually wanna add this to the song, so let's go ahead and do that. Personally, I kinda like using this on vocals even though you don't really hear it as much, um, but I'll show you exactly what it sounds like because it's actually playing throughout the entire time. I got the doubler on a aux channel and it's called Deep. I got the input on a bus called Deep. So I added that to my chorus and my verse aux channel and you can see it's right here and it's turned down pretty low. You know what I'm saying? Like negative 20 or negative 19. So it's really, really low, but I got the bus Deep on my chorus tracks. You can see I got the Deep right here and it's on a negative 19 and that's kind of pretty high for what I normally do for vocals, but of course the chorus, then I'll turn it up because it makes it sound a little bit more solid and more full. So let's just go ahead and hear it, what it sounds like without it and then with the effect. This video is helping you so far go ahead and hit the like button you can really hear when i turn this effect off it really made the vocal sound thin when i added it into the vocal it just made it sound a little bit more full you know what i'm saying so it sounded pretty good but i, I really wanted to turn up at the last word that i'm saying because i kind of repeat the same thing at the end i told the deuces and good luck i told the deuces and, and i just want to add that deep effect right at the end just to make it sound a little bit more different you know what i'm saying here's our chorus track and let's go ahead and add our deep effect on here if you click on waveform and we're going to basically automate this plugin just to come in at the last part so let's go ahead and click on wave go to deep 
All right, so let's go ahead and turn it up. If you hold down the control button, it'll actually put a dot there. And let's go ahead and put one before and after. And if you hold down Alt, it'll actually go up. And then you can place it somewhere exactly where you want it to go. So then go ahead and just turn it up. I actually want to put it like kind of high so you can hear it. And then put another point by holding control and then put another one there after that one. And let's go ahead and turn that down. And then we just automated this effect. Now let's hear it real quick. I told it deuces. Good luck. I deuces and good luck. So th that's a cool effect that you can add to as well. They did that on Drake's song, In Too Deep. Next are reverbs. So I highly recommend you guys check out uh, just different type of reverbs. I heard of H Reverb was a good one. The reverb that I like using is the IR1. This is a pretty good reverb. I like it a lot. I've been using it for a while now, but I'm actually using a different one on this song. I'm actually using the pure plate from Universal Audio. It actually came with my Universal Audio Apollo Twin X. And I just, I kind of like the way how it sounds. It sounds pretty good. So I kind of use this and use the pass space stereo. And I kind of like the way how that sounds on this. You can pitch the reverb high or low, depending on the sound that you're going for by just clicking and dragging this thing right here and it'll make it more deeper reverb if you want that or a more higher pitch reverb and it sounds really nice and let me just show you what it sounds like personally i like using more reverbs on my chorus tracks than my verses that's how you can you can use that to separate the two you know what i'm saying so the artist knows that all right this is the verse you know what i'm saying but let me just show you exactly what this reverb sounds like Shy house Honestly, I think it's a really good clean reverb that you can try out. I like adding other effects on there like EQ, you know what I'm saying? You can add some EQ on there and boost up at different parts. You can add a wider effect on there. This is a free one you can download. Make it sound even more wider. You can add an S one imager to that reverb to make it even more wider. You know what I'm saying? We're just wide all around, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's a really good effect that you can add for your vocals when you're mixing and mastering. If this video is helping you so far, go ahead and hit the like button. Next is using the Fairchild compressor. Now this compressor, I use this like on the aux channel of my vocals and stuff like that. Um, Like one set of an aux channel for the verse and an aux channel for the chorus. This compressor right here is a really good one and it's from Waves and I think Universal Audio has one, the exact same one like this but I haven't tried that one out yet but I'm gonna try it out but right now I've been using this one from waves these are my settings that I use for like vocals and stuff like that but this threshold button really helps your vocal sit well in the mix you know what I'm saying and I really like this plugin just because of this section right here makes your vocals sound really nice with the music and let me show you a quick tip to use when you're using this plugin this plugin will basically take the highest point of your vocal and just sit it and push it back down into a spot where it's just nicely in the mix and let me just show you exactly what that sounds like Shy house or cold. She don't leave me alone don't even call my phone I need you to be gone you never find it to the party ride that pussy do an alley Say look like her auntie white girl like I so you can use this plugin to really help your vocal sit really nice with the music and the backgrounds and everything, you know what I'm saying? It really gives it a limit of how far and how high it can go. And I really suggest you guys check out that plugin. Now this next plugin is a sleeper. Now I don't hear a lot of people talking about this and I don't know why, <laughs> but you hear this type of plugin on like big songs like Taylor Swift, Adele, uh, let me just show you real quick. Next is adding a spreader to your vocals. Now this is like a plugin that I don't hear people talking about, but it's called PS22. Not PlayStation 22, but PS22. I don't know why it's called that. Maybe position spreader, I don't know. But this is what it looks like when, as soon as you open it. I got it on the chorus track right now. Hover your mouse over the spread button and make this thin. It makes your vocals like spread out, but when you make it just a little bit thinner, it gives it a cool, mono effect it kind of just adds some characteristics and detail to your vocal let me show you real quick You hear the sound like it kind of makes it sound like this is a bigger project than what it really is. Kind of like this weird placement effect. I don't even know what to call it, but I really like the effect sometimes when I use it. 
I think it's a really great effect that you guys can check out just to make your vocals sound a little bit more high quality. A lot of people are honestly sleeping on that plugin and using effects like that just to make your hook and your chorus just sound a little bit more different. You can basically use this plugin on your chorus, on your verse. It doesn't really matter. It sounds good on both. Let me know if there's some tips that you think I missed out on. The next tip is go ahead and hit the like button. It helps with the channel. And let me know what other videos you want to see on this channel. You guys stay safe. And remember, it's only a matter of time. Peace.